Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I have here for you Lion's Gate News. We are in the lead up to the peak day of the Lion's Gate, which will be tomorrow, 8 August 2021 at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. I read the new moon will begin at 6.50 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. New moon is a good time to plant the seeds for a new beginning. On 8 August 2021, I have read, The star Sirius, one of my favorite stars, peeps over the horizon, bringing with it, according to Egyptian religion, flooding of the Nile and a promise of fertile fields. We have been in a bridge to the emerging Syrian energy for four harrowing days now in my own experience. The harrowing part has to do with all the negative emotional and mental energies releasing from the newosphere as Earth prepares to meet the beneficent influence of the Syrians who are a group of Christed star beings. It is not all that bad an experience for those who have been through it once, as was I in the last solar cycle, solar cycle 24. I can attest that going through the lion's gate in a state of clear awareness of the fourth dimensional flotsam and jetsam earth is readying for departure is seriously difficult unless we retain a neutral mind and also avoid acting out on the basis of the wild astral stories gyrating through the newospheric portion of Earth's atmosphere. During chaotic nodes in the last solar cycle, I recall I would get stuck on concern for the violence and the turmoil in the astral stories from time to time. I would find myself being too empathic and hoping to rescue some helpless child or other victim from the predator instincts I Claire heard whirling about. The thing to understand is astral stories are not real in the sense that the physical world is real. They can be taken more lightly than physical events and they can more easily clear through the stargates at appropriate astrological times. Of course, should it come to being in the physical presence of acting out during the neurospheric chaos of a stargate, we ascensioneers and light workers have been gifted with multi-temporal and multi-dimensional skills that can lift us clear of life-threatening scenarios. As a quick tip and reminder, when so confronted, we can optimize timelines and dimensions using this activation of light gifted by the Hathors who are relatives of the Syrians living in higher than the third dimension here in our own solar system. When confronted with life-threatening scenarios, say with confidence and enthusiasm, this activation of light called optimization of timelines and dimensions. Spirit to team optimize timelines and dimensions for the all through free will. That brings us into the energies of the fifth dimension which can protect us from all harm unless in alignment with God's will we find it is time for our earthly work in the current incarnation to end. The optimization of timelines and dimensions activation of light works for me every time and there have been some hair-raising split-second timing situations that arose in solar cycle 24 in the range of time about 11 years ago. Now I have an update for today. Today was quite something else in terms of astral racket. I could tell the minute the sun arose that the thing to do was to go hiking, and that forthwith. When I got back home, 
The chaotic noospheric chatter was much worse, so I opted to work all day long in my backyard. Feet on the ground definitely helps in these gateway situations. Do you not feel it? At 4.15 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time today, there was a great clearing here in Los Angeles. From the sudden change in the astral chatter, it seemed that a great bolus of negative energy suddenly disappeared from the earth plane. One moment it was here, going great guns, an apt expression considering the nature of the astral stories. The next minute, whoosh, it was gone. The range of my hearing shifted from clear hearing to physical hearing. All of a sudden, all I could hear were the wind blowing in the trees, children playing three yards down, and my next door neighbors talking in their garden. It was absolutely stunning how fast everything shifted. I guess we will see what happens tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time during the peak of the lion's gate. Hold on to our hats. That is my guess.